Alrighty, part 2a says solve by factoring, number 6 through 10. I'm going to do 6 and 7 because they're a little bit different. Hopefully you can already see what you need to do because we've hit it so very hard. You're going to do 8, 9, and 10. So for number 6, the first thing I have to do is determine what strategy of factoring that I need to use. For number 6, it is a quadratic, same as number 7, but number 6 has three terms. That should tell me that three-term quadratics get to have a t-chart because there is an a, a b, and a c term. So for t-chart, I'm going to use mac and ab. My mac is the multiply a times c. a is 1, c is 12. 1 times 12 is 12. And my b term is a negative 8. So I need factors of 12 that add up to negative 8. Again, if you don't know this, I can't help you. I've always said this unless you start with 1 and its partner to get to 12. 1 times 12 is 12. But 1 plus 12, no combination of that would give me negative 8. So I'm moving on. 2. Next number after 1 is 2. Does 2 go into 12? Yes, it goes in there 6 times. And it looks like, in this case, 2 and a 6 somehow would give me a negative 8. If Again, if I don't know, I could just keep trying the process. 3 and 4, 5, 4 and 3, go so on. But it looks like I have arrived at the one that would give me that. It's not 3 and 4, it would be 2 and 6. 2 times 6 is 12, but 2 plus 6 is a positive 8. So I need to get a positive number when I multiply, so that means I have to make both of those negative. Negative 2 times negative 6 is still a positive 12, and negative 2 plus negative 6 is indeed a negative 8. So this is what I choose. That's my first step. My second step is to write it in factored form. Factored form. So I'm going to write n minus 2 times n minus 6, and that all equals 0. This is the same thing. n minus 2, n minus 6 is the same thing as my original quadratic, just in different forms. Then when that's the case, you can either jump to n equals, or I can set both equal to 0 and solve. Plus 2, plus 2. So 1n equals, or one solution is 2. The other one, n minus 6 equals 0. Plus 6, plus 6. The other solution is n equals 6. And I'm done. For number 7, I cannot t-chart this thing because there are not three terms. There's only one, two terms. Whenever there's two terms, that tells me that I need to find a GCF, a greatest common factor. Some other times you could factor and there would be two terms, but it's a difference of squares. In this case, 7 is not a perfect square, so I can't take the square root of that, so that tells me it's still GCF. So my first step is to find the GCF. So for this GCF, there are no numbers in common. There technically is a 1 in front of that, and yes, 1 is in common between 1 and 7, but I don't need to put that. So I'm going to the variables now. This chunk, the first chunk, has 2m's. This only has 1m. And when it comes to variables, I can only take out the greatest in common. They only have 1m in common with each other. So my GCF in this case is m. I found my GCF. Now I'm going to rewrite it in factored form. For that to happen, I'm going to list my GCF. And after I factor out my GCF, I'm going to write what's left. Now for this, it's always the first term, which is m squared, divided by my GCF, which is m. There's two m's on top. When you um, divide bases, you subtract the powers, 2 minus 1, I'm left with just 1m. So my first term becomes 1m minus second term divided by the GCF. I'll do that over here negative 7m divided by m equals m on top and bottom they go away so I'm left with negative 7. I already put this I already put the minus sign there so that's I didn't necessarily need to have that up there for now. So I'm left with m minus 7. m times m minus 7. Now my third step is to set them equal to 0 and solve. Now this one for whatever reason always confuses people 
That's a standalone variable. The only number I can put in there to get zero is zero. So one of my solutions is m equals zero. The other one I can set equal to zero. Or minus seven equals zero and solve it. Plus seven plus seven. So m also equals seven. And I'm done. Now you get to do eight, nine, and ten. Good luck.